Good morning, everybody. Ohayou gozaimasu. Welcome from Tokyo. Uh, Safecast 10th anniversary kicked off. Sorry for a small delay there. We were pressing the wrong buttons probably, but we got it going. So uh, I'm here together with Emmy. And we're going to coach you through the day today. And we have a lot of guests lined up. It's going to be an exciting day. We're going to drive around. You can see uh, Asbi and Joe and Emmy in the car, and we're going to say hello to them uh, very quickly. Uh, Asbi, uh, please come howdy. in. Howdy. Hey, howdy. How are you? Good to see you. Great. We're on the road. Yes. Rainy day. Right, exactly. So uh, raining in Tokyo as well. Uh, you know, we had wonderful weather yesterday, but I guess, you know, sometimes it has to rain and we're going to do our best to, to make this happen. Um, so, uh, Asmi, we're going to flip over to you a little bit later. You're going, to, you're going to talk about what we're all going to do, but for everybody, today we have two major sections. We're going to start with the ride, which is a ride uh, through the Fukushima zone 10 years later on. We're going to stop at a lot of places that have played a critical role in that accident. We're going to talk to people there, and and Asbi is and Asbi and Joe and Emu are going to be our, our coach. Uh, we're going to talk to some folks while we're driving. Guests will come on uh, the Zoom call, and will share their experiences. And we're going to talk about a few things there. Uh, and then in uh, when we get later in in the show, uh, we're going to uh, switch to uh, to our European uh, volunteer team, and they're going to. Uh, talk to a lot of uh, people uh, and uh, around citizen science, around safe cost, and around other topics that have to do with the safe cost uh, mission, and uh, and we're going to do that. So I want to kind of stop here and and uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, very quick thing, uh, Asbi, where are you guys right now? Uh, we're we're in Fukushima. I, I I don't know if you can see us on screen. Maybe we're not on screen right now. Yeah, no, so maybe, but, it, maybe, maybe but anyway, can... we're in Fukushima yes. yeah, on Route Six right at Tomioka, heading to J Village. Heading to J Village, right? Yeah, I remember J Village very well. This is one of my first drives. I went there, and that's what it was full parked with fire trucks at that time, and you couldn't get in because it was was stacked up with that. And uh, so that's great. So we're going to go there soon. So I want to quickly switch to 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 our uh, to our contingent in Canada. You know, uh, Sean. Let's let's bring on Sean here. Hello. So, hey. Good morning, Hi. Sean. What are you doing Hi. in Canada? I'm doing great in Canada. It's not rainy, and it's yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Safe Cost headquarters in in North America. Uh, yes, Sean, you can tell from from our branding here. This is this is. Yeah, central, you know, central base. We'll, we'll talk about the branding later, Sean. Um, <laughs> so, so what I what I want to uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is is we're basically socially distanced here, and I'm going to take this off so that you know you can hear us better. But we just wanted to, you know, you know, if if, if you don't notice it very well, you know, you may you may want to uh, you may want to see here. Uh, these are the safe cost masks. You can get them in the shop. Uh, Sean, you want to talk about the shop? Yeah, the shop has all sorts of fantastic SafeCast merch in it right now. So uh, you see some of it on display there with Peter, SafeCast hats and pillows and new shirts and masks and everything. We just got this up. So it's definitely something that uh, you should get if you're into that kind of thing. We've got a lot of it. Um, Sean, there are some other reveals that we have done around the 10th anniversary. You want to maybe talk a little bit about one or two of those? Well, uh, one of them that I can talk about briefly, which will sort of maybe lead into to some of what, what Ray's talking about, of course, is the we just sent this out moments ago, is a, a new website called safecast.live, which is a, kind of a fun, a fun experiment to see uh, what kind of music would be made by the data stream coming in from our sensors. So we have a, a feed coming in of radiation and air quality data that triggers different samples and um, we'll just continue to play in, you know, eternally evolving audio stream of sound. So you can sort of listen to these uh, measurements come in from all around the world. And as new sensors be continue to be deployed, the stream will get busier and busier and it just constantly changing. And it's uh, absolutely delightful. We just launched that minutes ago. 
Sean, it's super awesome. Maybe, maybe in a few moments, we're going to talk to Ray Ozzy as well. Maybe, you know, you can pull out that screen and, and share it for a few, a few moments with everybody watching. It would be great. And I think there's some other thing that went live, I believe, very momentarily that you may want to mention or... Uh, which, which, which one was that? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. You know, so what I was going to say is you, you may want to share that the, the safecards.live stream uh, if you have a if you have that handy on your machine if you can share your screen we can just show folks what it is i don't have permissions to share the screen share my, that's because you're screen. the first one so we're going to fix that that's very <laughs> uh, kelsey can you yes and just you know just if we may flip the camera around later in the day we we're here with a big team here in tokyo uh, Kelsey Stewart from Lovework is is manning the session. We have Michael Goldberg who has been uh, covering Fukushima from its early days onwards behind the cameras. We have Nondo. He is going to talk later about his experience with Big Igees. We have Jonathan Wilder in the back. He is watching our streams and he's also making sure that we're not going to be hungry. And uh, and here it is. Okay. And 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 we have Bob Ward. We're going to talk in a moment. Oh, right, hey, Sean. This looks. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so you got it going. Yeah, it's going. So as different measurements come in, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm not sure if the screen uh, sharing. The sound. Yeah, there is no What's sound that? at the moment, yeah, but it's fine. I, I just maybe you, you may want to explain a little bit about the sound and what what is happening. Yeah. Here. So, so what's happening is uh, as the data stream comes in from air sensors, uh, it's showing up on these little slices of maps that are that are popping up around, and uh, each each different measurement is pegged to a different sample. Low measurements are some samples. High measurements are other samples. Radiation is one kind of sample. Air quality is another kind of sample. So. As these data streams come in with all these different measurements, this just keeps changing and, and evolving. Uh, over here, you can see there's a little bit of information about the project. If you're on the site, you can click over and, and learn a little bit more about it. And then down here on the bottom right are, are other audio samples collections. So you can click different ones over here and listen to different things. We've got the default one that you hear on load is actually samples from Nine Inch Nails Ghost one through four project, which they uh, kindly licensed into the pub, into uh, Creative Commons for anybody to do anything they want with. And so we did something that they probably did not expect with it. And then we have uh, some samples from some older synthesizers and things, which sort of create a really uh, interesting soundscape that just kind of continues to evolve. Um, again, as these as these readings come in, so you're actually listening to sort of a, a live stream of environmental readings from all around the world. It's pretty, um, it's pretty fantastic. You can just turn it on in the background and just let it run for, for hours and hours. Okay, that's, that's, that's awesome. Uh, and, and for those who don't know, Sean has been, uh, you know, one, one of his passions is, is to make music and specifically ambient style music. And if you listen to it, it gives you gives a great uh, you know, a great soundscape, so to speak. Okay, so I want to just bring Bob Boer to 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 the front line, and just a small remark for Michael. If if you can gain up the gain on the the backlight correction, if you can bring up the the gain on the the thing, if you if you know how to do it or not, then don't worry about it. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. They're fine. We'll 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 get there. Uh, if we can switch to to the the white the white to to Bob for a moment here, or Kelsey, if you can switch, yes, okay, thank you. Uh, this is uh, just want to introduce everybody to Bob Ward. He's going to be the musical director for today. Hello, and uh, Bob, just share with us what 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 is on the musical menu. Uh, the first thing we have today is going to be a shakuhachi player named Bruce Huebner. He traveled around the world. He's uh, quite an interesting person, and uh, he's going to be joined by Andy Bevan, who uh, Andy plays uh, didgeridoo and saxophone and many things, and I, I think they've got something very interesting for you up to sleep today. And then after that, we have uh, Chris Koyama, 
and uh, Fumika Asari, and uh, it's like a jazz duo. They, I've found them and uh, very interesting and very good. Fumika is a new uh, growing guitar player in Tokyo, and uh, she's very good, very young. Uh, the next band after that is uh, Christopher Hardy on percussion, and Andy Bevan again appears. He'll be playing uh, Indian flutes, uh, uh, soprano saxophone, and uh, Chris is quite amazing. You're gonna that'll be quite a treat. He plays a lot of interesting things. Yes, <laughs> the Toy Meister, I guess you call him. Uh, there's another band after that. Will be Philip Wu. Uh, Great keyboardist who's played with Peter, everybody. Right? With anybody and anybody and everybody. Uh, um, you know, he played with Shaka Khan. He played Shaka with Khan. Maze. He played with Stevie Wonder. He, you know, he played with a lot of people. If you're into seventies and eighties, just a few uh, music. Yeah. He, there's a good chance there. The, the, the yeah. keyboard riffs are Philip Wu. Philip was in the in the uh, touring the world for a time. That's right. Yes, and he's going to be joined by a really wonderful singer named Ashton Moore, and. Uh, They've got some little R and B type tunes. R and B, yeah. We're going to bring the soul, and we're going to bring <laughs> the band right. back together. And then uh, the final act of the day will be uh, drummer Gene Jackson. He's a great jazz drummer. Was uh, toured with Herbie Hancock for nine years in his trio. Uh, so many good. people will have heard about him. He is in, and he's accompanied by Pat Glenn. Pat Glenn on bass and uh, Makoto Oka, who's a wonderful tenor sax player and flutist i i don't know exactly what they're going to do so i don't know what you're going to hear <laughs> right so so that's going to be excitement so what is exciting here is, is all these musicians here will be featured here from tokyo live so in we are at the safe cost office but in our building there is a, there's a shared floor that we're using today to broadcast the music live so it's kind of an experiment for all of us uh, specifically in you know, the period of COVID, a lot of musicians have been able not to play but we we're able to put them together in a very large room, and so I think that's going to work out really well. Uh, I think one thing that is that I want to mention is we started today with the song "Make Make a Smile," and Bob, you know, made oh, this song yes. specially for us today. So talk a little bit about right. your song. Right, that was basically like my old ad agency days. I finish it and hand it out one minute later, <laughs> <laughs> and it was perfectly on time. So thanks for that. Oh boy! And who did we see? We saw Gene, we saw Gene that? Jackson. That's that's a little group that I'm kind of starting out called the QK. The QK band, and it's uh, Chris Koyama on vocals, Gene Jackson plays electronic drums, and uh, Makoto Oko on the saxophone, on saxophone and, and one... flute on that song. And there's... then um, uh, me on guitar and keyboards and programming, because I'm not a very good keyboard player. So just a little bit about Bob Ward. So Bob Ward you know, has spent many, many years in New York producing and, and mixing records. Yes. Uh, wrote a, a few hits, including for George Benson. Yeah. And so if, you, if you're a George Benson fan, you, there's, a, there's a good chance with one yes. of the numbers is, is, yeah. is an is a original Bob Ward song. So let's go check that out. And, and yes. Bob has been in, in, in Japan for how many years? Uh, a few now. A few now, and, and, <laughs> and he, is, he, he is very much a part of the music community here. Yeah. We're so honored to have you here and to have oh, everybody here, much. so we're going to check that out later. Uh, I think we're, we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, let you go back to the studio. I to think the, I've got a few things to take care you of. You have a few things to take care of, so you go off and, and get a, check all the microphones, check, yeah. check everything that's happening there. Uh, Emmy, come back. and. Uh, I think we're 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 now back on track. We're on 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 schedule, uh, <laughs> even though we had a few hitches and, and 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 you know, isn't that part of doing a Zoom is is to have you know a few hitches? Uh, so I think all of us are are getting used to that. But we're we're very much live. Uh, just before we uh, jump, uh, before we go and talk to to Ray, I just wanted to briefly describe about our office here. Uh, we're based here in Shibuya, right? I mean, yep. And uh, this has been our safe cost office for the last. Uh, I think four or five years now, uh, or longer maybe, and we're supported here by by a company called Lovework, that is kind of a creative hub here in in, in Tokyo. And uh, the founder Chiaki Hayashi, she will be uh, talking here later in the day about her experiences around SafeCast and why uh, you know why we are part of her her office and why we're here. Uh, so that. Uh, uh, that is going to happen. Our office, you know, if you can look, look a little bit around, we have some goodies here. We're going to talk about the goodies later. I'm going to show some stuff. But this is kind of a, where we have our workbench. 
this is where we build stuff, a lot of parts, you know, and, 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 and we have, you know, on the, on the right side, kind of going to follow the camera slowly, we see Emmy. But on the right side, these are kind of, we're going to talk about this later, we have some of our prototypes and original big IGs, the things we have been working on over the last couple of years. And really devices have always been a very important part of our journey.